morning friend today we are going to present and discuss about the raster data as you know in gis two types of data formats are used one is the vector data and another is the raster data so we have already discussed about the vector data in our previous class and now we are going to study about the raster data so how the data is stored in gis in raster formats that we'll discuss today so raster data format uh, uses the grid cells like uh, there is a one grid which is consisting of the row and column to represent the earth surface features and each and every cells in the raster conveys a soul value which signifies the appearances of the special phenomena through this grid cell and there is an another important characteristic of the raster data that is it will average all the values that lies within this grid cell and every pixel the raw value if the data value is zero that means the data is missing for this particular pixel so we still can hold any alphanumeric index that represents an attribute so as per vector data we have also representing all the land surface features in the three important format one is point line and polygon so points are this is individual column or row entities a single grid cell right okay single grid cell suppose a uh, well so the entire pixel is representing the well line the set of connected pixel set of connected pixel suppose this line in raster data will be represented as in this way. and the area this a stored of each cell within the interior of the each map which is that is the contiguity of connected pixel of so there are several method that is exist for the encoding of the raster data first one is the shell by shell encoding method in this method the data encodes raster and generating a records for each cell value 
by row and column. For example, this is an area. So features are represented here. So the data will be stored as row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2, and so Dems use the cell by cell data structure because the neighboring values are rarely the same and satellite images are also used to store the raster data by this method. Next coming to run length encoding method. In this method, the values are stored as the consequences of the pixels, where most of the neighboring pixels have analogous value. There, this type of encoding method is used. Like row 1. is a 1 and 2 row 2 1 3 row 3 2 3 in this way the data will be stored in the run length encoding method Next, what tree encoding method? This is a hierarchical data structure. Here, the data are stored hierarchically, that is, are partitioned reliant upon equally valid pixels. And in this model, the geographic space is divided into the process of recursive de decomposition. It is the recursive decomposition. For example, In this way, the data are stored in this quadri encoding method. And the last one or fourth is the block code encoding. This method represents the boundary of a region by using a series of cardinal direction and cells. So for example,
these are the area having the data values. So in raster, it is represented as one unit square is one one two units unit square is two. Sorry. Two unit square is one. So this is the stored method of the rest of data in JS database. So this raster data stored is formed in the two way and it's classified in the two categories. One is the Lossy file format and another is known as the lossless file format. In lossy file format. They try to fit the restriction of the human eye by eliminating evidence from the image that cannot be detected. Here, the, if we are going to reduce the file size, then some information is going to be missing. no information means in this file format for example here jpeg data and here the tiff file format so there are several file format that is used in gis to store the raster data that are discussed below like JPEG. Also known as the Joint Photographic Export Group. Joint Photographic Export Group. It stored the data into 8 bit file in visible color spaces. Next is TIFF Tagged Information File Format. Here the data stored in 16 bit values. Second is Portable Network Graphics. Here the data is stored in 24 bit values. And the web based browser like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, etc. use this data structure. Now, multi resolution seamless image database. Here, these are established by Lizard Tech Informs Technology. Lizard Tech. Incorporation. 
and this is basically used for practicing the large aerial photographs on satellite images where the ratio of trampolines can be observed rapidly without having an expand the complete file. Next, digital raster graphics. Here, the raster data forms uses by USGS topography that contains all the level material from the templates. USGS DIM. This format established by the United States Geological Society to optimize the grid waste stems represents of the spot elevation. They have also you developed the DTM digital terrain model, DIM digital elevation model, DSM digital surface model, all are developed by USGS to represent the earth surface structures. Another important structure is DTED, that is the digital terrain elevation data. That is specific raster file format designed by the, for the military purpose such as line of sight analysis, 3D phase elevation, developed by the USGS. Thank you for watching this video.